So I've always been active in the cannabis industry. Right. I used to go to the fucking cannabis cup every year. Uh -huh. Um but yeah, so I've been smoking since like, but I didn't start till like I was an adult though, like twenty one. Okay. I wasn't a teenager smoking weed. You're like a like a weed stripper, right? <laughs> That's kind of like your image. If somebody asked me, that is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like her. She's like Nina, the weed stripper. I think when I met her, that was like her in her bio. Dude, cause like. Look at her with the water <laughs> on the wood. She puts two <laughs> drops on it. Why do you yeah. guys do that? That's cool. You know, it just gives it a little elasticity. You How know are you going to spread it? You're going to sort of spread it around yeah, a little bit? Yeah, spread it. And got to drop a little over here. Is this pressure that we're going to watch you roll this wood? Nah, I already fucking is that tore enough this weed? bitch too. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Because I already tore it, so I'm going to have to trim it anyway. Okay. How fat do you prefer your woods? You like gigantic ones? I or mean, you... I typically roll like a two gram blunt. Okay. That Normal. Ain't... That's like one at most though right there, right? Yeah. Okay. Respect. Respect. Thank you. How much do you smoke in a given day? Three backwoods. Three so. backwoods in a day. Yeah. You start the day off smoking one. Yes. Okay. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really? Yes. Do you smoke before sex? I smoke after sex. For after sure. sex, for sure. Yeah. Smoking before sex can be cool. Definitely. Sometimes I'll be tearing my girl's guts up, just high as fuck. <laughs> Coming home after smoking all day, just high as fuck, so I can go forever and just really just tearing it up. And Hell afterwards, yeah. she'll be like, "So, you're super high, huh?" <laughs> mm, be like, "Fuck yeah, make me a sandwich." I could, uh, just, I could just get into a fucking trance when I'm really high. Hell yeah. Just banging away, dude. You like high sex? Or is only, it a little too much? Only on weed. Really? No other high. Right. You yeah. do other drugs? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. Or a lot? Dude, a lot. Dude, oh my Dude, God. Dude, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that. You seem very level-headed. Well, I am, but that's because I do the natural drugs. You know, nature's medicine. So you, you do, do like shrooms and shit. So yeah, like I did shrooms the other day. Like I couldn't stop giggling. That shit felt amazing, bro. I was like, why is everything so intensely funny? Right. Have you done a lot of shrooms throughout your life or just yeah. a little bit? But see, I've done like way more intense shit. Like last year, I lived in the Amazon and like I did. Lived in the Amazon? <laughs> your face, why did yes. you go out there? Um, To do ayahuasca. I stayed at an ayahuasca retreat. Whoa. And we did 5-MeO DMT. It's like a super crazy psychedelic, right? Yeah, but the 5-MeO DMT was way, way worse. Like, really? That shit was way more intense. I could have lived without the ayahuasca. I could have just had, like, one... Because we had one DMT experience. We fucking, you know, the 5-MeO comes from the Sonoran Desert Toad. It's the toad. This DMT comes from a crazy toad? The toad venom. <sighs> it comes out of their skin. Wow. Yeah, so they you gathered smoked it. Shit? I smoked it, bro. And when I tell you, I had the longest trip. I'm so glad I filmed it. I filmed it, bro. I thought DMT was a really short trip. I know. It's supposed to be. Everybody else's was short, 15 minutes. My shit was like 43 minutes. Wow. Yeah. And it was intense as fuck. When I tell you, I felt like I died. This shit makes me tear up talking about it because I felt like I died. And I was reborn, bro. Wow. Like, I came out the womb again after I smoked that DMT. And it sounds crazy, but, like, everything you were ever programmed to believe, like, it was erased. I came out, like, one, understanding my peace with the universe. Like, wow. that shit was so crazy. So it was definitely worth it. Oh, my God, yeah. Wow. That whole trip was just fucking insane. We did combo. <laughs> Which is another type of frog venom. We did all types of shit living in the jungle, man. Frog venom. So you want to go live in the jungle, and where is this at? This is in Iquitos, Peru. How long do you go out there for? 14 days. And oh, I, th I thought you actually like moved there. <laughs> nah, but they didn't have any... I couldn't really bring anything, and there's no electricity. It's not like you could... I didn't even do my hair for two weeks. Had you done a lot of, uh, of yeah. like mushrooms and acid before this to make you think that you were ready for this Prepared, more yeah. serious trip? Yes, because um, I had actually, like, wanted to go to Peru and do that before when I first went through my divorce because I heard that it could go, like, it could help you heal okay. a lot. But then when I lost my cat, so I bought a house in Vegas last year. Within three months, lost my cat. That's where you I live. I was fucking, no, you I live in L.A. now. You moved back. Yeah, I sold that bitch. You bought a house in <laughs> Vegas and sold it in the course of a year? I did. Why? Because I had to, I wanted to do it before I filed my next tax return first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I gotta get out of here before 2021 taxes are due, bro. Uh huh. Cause that's gonna eat up my down payment. 
<laughs> Damn, so you lost your cat, got really sad. I got really sad. So you decided so, to take poisonous frog. <laughs> yeah, well, I just said, you know, this is the time that to go and get this healing. Like, I need to, like, not stop, you know. Right. Don't Did put this on the back burner. This needs to happen now. Right. Did you see your cat while you were tripping? No. So I thought I was going to see, like, my childhood and my marriage and my cat. I didn't see none of that shit. What did you see? I saw the first night I saw, like, a giant, like, nails. Giant hit, like, a foot, almost like a beast. Just his nails, like, destroying everything. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't understand. And then the second night, I realized he was stepping on, like, the earth. And, like, I was getting this weird, like, one with the earth every single night visions after ayahuasca. And then we had, like, 20 other people there. So the next morning we would share, like, what did you see? How was your trip? And everybody else's was, like... Positive, like, jolly and shit? No, nah, all this shit was, like, for real, like, they childhood and, you know, the things you thought you were going to see. And my yeah. shit was, like, totally disconnected to me. I just saw people, giants, beasts destroying the earth. Uh-oh. So, so all the time. Game yeah. of Thrones. And so when did you get your first positive trip? When I did that DMT. When I smoked that shit. What'd you see? Okay. So that shit hit me like, poo. I smoked it and my eyes were like, I have it on video. I'll show y'all after. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And um, I passed out. And it looks in the video like I'm orgasming, like I'm high, like I'm coming. Because I'm just like touching all over myself and I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm, you know, like that. Uh-huh. But in my mind, I was going like deep into, I don't know, the fucking universe. Like I saw like sacred geometry, like triangles, green, lime green and purple triangles and like swirls. And I was like just going deeper and deeper into the triangles until I, it was just nothing. And then I woke up, immediately started crying because I felt like I just was born. Like a baby just came out oh, the womb, started crying. God. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's fucking, because you, because... You, because obviously you hear about like people take DMT, then I think like if you're not in the right state of mind, you have bad trips, and then you have positive trips, bad trips. But you had like some real life reborn shit. Like I mean, it was just it was the crazy. And then it would it made me so sensitive. Like there were ants crawling on me, and I felt like I was one with the ants. Like they were just an extension of me. And like the wood beneath me, I felt like I could feel it vibrating. Like it was moving. Like I was really one. With There's some universe. avatar shit, fool. Bro, it was crazy. It was just like that. Wow. Yeah. And but you know, there was one dude there. He had a trip where he was like spitting. He was spitting up and he was screaming, like, I'm scared. Oh, oh. And then when he woke up, we were like, What the fuck happened? And he was like, That was the best shit of my life. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Tasha's loving this conversation. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that shit was intense. I would definitely do it again. Um, okay. When you get back to normal life, how do you feel like this experience kind of changed you? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I made less money for like the whole year because I was on some save the earth shit. Like I was so like at one with myself that like I was not on my grind how I was before. Mm. That's the only thing is people get mixed results with that. Some people are like, yeah, I came back and I realized some shit and I made an invention and now I'm a billionaire. Right. And then there's some people that they just keep going back. Like it was some people at the retreat that had been there several times before. Uh -huh. So it's like, obviously you feel like you're not done with whatever you need to work through. But do you think that that's you're the universe telling you that you don't want to be doing what you're doing or maybe you're not truly fulfilled by just shaking your boobs on instagram or whatever is oh, currently absolutely. making you money yeah. so i actually like opened a plant store last year like online and i had cloned all these plants and had them on the first floor of my house and like i still have all the mother plants so when i want to get back to it i can just reclone uh -huh. but I started going crazy and I know that like growing, whether it's growing weed or farming or indoor plants, that's my true passion. That makes you happy. Yo, like if you're a single and you're a farmer, hit me up. <laughs> that's your type? <laughs> that's my type. I love getting my hands dirty. Do you feel like making money off of, you know, being hot is just kind of like a, a stage in your life that you just sort of have to take advantage of right now? Yes. Mm. I would feel like if I didn't take advantage of this, like how stupid, how, how you have this privilege. God gave you great genes for this modern day of beauty standards. Mm. And here you are not <clears throat> utilizing those gifts, those talents. What the fuck? 
Yeah. I feel like it's my obligation. If you a bad bitch, it's your obligation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to make some money off these dumb motherfuckers. Nah, for real, what the fuck? 